Okay, so just got out of the movie theater, went to Megaplex, sat in a D-Box, watched Gran Turismo with the wife. Holy Hannah! This is the only way to see this movie is in a D-Box. Woo! You felt like you were in the car. Like, I'm a user experience designer, right? Like, dang, talk about immersion. This brought you into the freaking cockpit of the car. Oh, man. Uh, it's in the trailer, so there's no spoilers here. I'm not going to spoil anything. But uh, there is a wreck in the movie. And that, even though the wreck was terrible, it felt so cool in the T box. You felt like you were crashing with with the person crashing. Like, oh my gosh. It was awesome. Rachel, what you think? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was the best movie experience. Possibly, well, all year, and if not, in a long time, like five, 10 years, I don't know. Woo! I was like holding back from like laughing because I had sheer like, this is insane. <laughs> I like an adrenaline rush. You, you like feel the adrenaline rush with with the drivers. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about like feeling the the shifts of the car. It's just like in, insane. Like, I, was, I know nothing about cars really. At that that's long, not true. But like. I just, oh, ah, yeah. Like freaking out. The, the shifts in the car were insane. You could feel every shift, every turn, every bump in the road. It was insane. It was like holding a dual sense controller type thing, oh. but probably not as, yeah, we obviously way, way more uh, immersive than that. I but. mean, if you are in well health standing to get an D box, you must do this. And crank the settings all the way. If you're pregnant right now, I'm sorry. That's all to the ladies out there. I'm really sorry because <laughs> I'm definitely gonna see this movie more than once. <laughs> we need to go again in the theaters. We're going back. Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely incredible. Going to D Box, we gotta get we're gonna try to get the the uh what is it called? The D-Box Max? What is it? The ones that are super fancy? I don't know. I think there's specific for the Megaplex. So. Yeah, specific for the Megaplex, there's another round of D-Box that, uh, where you can actually elevate your feet. And the ones we were sitting in, we couldn't elevate our feet, which is a little annoying. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I've got, like, Rachel, go faster. We're driving in our car right now. I want my wife to go faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so good. And, oh, I agree. So we had a discussion um, with Chris and he was talking about the relationship between the father and the son and how the father needed more screen time. I I actually agree with that. That was, uh, without giving you spoilers, there were some emotional moments with the father throughout the movie, uh, but uh, not enough screen time in my opinion as well. I totally agree with Chris. Uh, story was, was well done. Uh, I don't know how historically accurate it was, but now I have to go and do some research. <laughs> I'll have to talk with Chris. I have literally zero criticisms because I was enjoying it the whole time. Enough so <laughs> that I can't even criticize it. So maybe when I wake up in the morning and I'm grumpier, then I'll come up with something. But I was seriously... <laughs> I don't know. I loved it. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I can't, other than that, I can't think of any criticisms either. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a 10 out of 10 movie. Um, but we'll have to. Time will tell. Maybe maybe it's just my adrenaline rush from the D box. But man, it was it was really good. Really good. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Ford versus Ferrari, and uh, this one is Ford versus Ferrari tier, in my opinion, at least fresh, raw out of the movie theater. Oh man, I don't even know what else to say. Do you want to say anything else? I just, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are speechless right now. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>